welcome back to another video. Hey, if you're new, make sure you leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. You don't miss a video. Now, today, we are back with another Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 Episode, Episode 8, Higher Calling. I'm excited, but I'm not at the same time because we're like close to the, to the end of the sh Not only the season, but the show itself. Like, this is literally like the, the end is near. You know what I'm saying? We've got two episodes left after this, and they're trying to create new storylines. Now, with Effie's mom. Um, Shit. Like Tate and like his situation, it's like they bring it in Tate so late in the game. It's like I feel like it, they didn't just bring him back just for just for Kamal's situation. It's like it's more, I feel like it's more to him. It's like you know what I'm saying. It's just I don't, I don't know. I, I just don't like how season four is going. I really don't. It's like season four was really to me again. And I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Season four, it's like season four was like episodes like one, one through three, and then season five is like what we got right now i really feel like season four should have been Tariq and Braden versus the tide is all season and then season five would have been fucking the dunn carter's storyline and shit you know if they was gonna do that denise shit they should have just did that at the end of season four or in the middle of season four like really like it's just like they, they had a missed opportunity like i would have knocked off fe episode one for sure she would have been the first one to go Episode three definitely would have knocked off Drew at least. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not that nigga off. Not really Drew and Diana gonna go could have could really got up out of here. Episode no Drew. But at least Drew episode three. I would have knocked off Diana at least like mid of the season four. Then I would have brought then season five I would I would have brought in like Don Carter. And then I, I would have pulled a Tommy for Tariq situation where I would have like I would have I probably would have had Diana get pregnant, but he wouldn't know it. He still would have killed her. Anyways, uh, I don't want to do too much talking, man. man we can have a this reaction. Um, if you guys end up liking my reaction, please like the video. It helps out a lot. Because we push across the YouTube algorithm. It's my channel growing and going. So if y'all guys really want to get me out there, you have to like the video. It helps out a lot. Comment down below what y'all want to see next. Hit that subscribe button. Share the video and the channel as well. Hit that Patreon link below if y'all want to see the full reaction to this. Come on, bro. Full reaction to this video because I, because with, with power, you know it's gonna be some stuff in here that we can't put on YouTube. So if y'all guys wanna see all the all the unedited, unfiltered, you know what I'm saying, footage and shit, you have to hit that Patreon link below, man. That's where all the good stuff is at. So without further ado, man, let's get right into it. Previously on Ghost. Oh, the dirty cop beat up Diana. She lost her baby. Well, I'm supposed to just snort a few lines and get the fuck over it like you always do, right? Real shit, the only reason why they even kept Diana alive was because of that situation. Like, like, like now that that like now that she lost her baby, bro, it's like it's like they they it's like they that was I can't even say I can't even say it was forced, but it was stupid. Cause we really wanted them to go, bro. They that was it's like her being pregnant was her saving grace. And then she lost her kids, and I was like, I mean, at this point, I can't say Tariq can 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 spin the block on her because if he does, that kind of goes back. That kind of defeats the defeats the purpose of the deal he made with Monet. So it's like he can, even, bro. God, bro, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Fuck that. You gotta get the fuck out of here now. Hands up. That was dumb as hell. Like, I, I need. That was dumb as hell. Y'all, nigga, y'all sitting by a dead body. You motherfuckers, is, bro, y'all killed somebody and y'all still sitting in their in their house with the dead body and the child of Bro, I would have left. Welcome to the fucking team, Terry. Yeah, we about to kill that nigga though. <laughs> he don't even know it yet. Detective Felicia Marie Lewis. She was tough. She was feeling. We do not care. To Felicia. To Felicia. To Felicia. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know. She, she shouldn't get no toes, no tribute, no nothing. She ain't deserve none of that shit. An accident. Yeah, see, he, even, even he knew that wasn't. What the fuck really happened? See, that's Natural. the that's, at least that with Nico, he's not stupid. I give him that. Years to face life in fucking prison if this motherfucker decides to make me an accessory to this fucking cop's murder. Yeah, the man. Dude, and I just that nigga it was. I ain't girl no more. This fucking shit is stressing her out. It's fucking with her head, you know. She gotta move past regret. It's for civilians. What the fuck all that? What we doing? We need to get on this nigga's ass ASAP. <laughs> nah, facts. Like, meanwhile, we weaponize Noma, make it seem like everything's gonna be blown up on her end, and make her take out Carter. Oh, this bitch again. We gotta go back and beg fucking Noma for help. <laughs> Listen, we gotta kiss him <laughs> nah, and get this my lash. This is Fourth Circle. Used to be Zion's spot. It's a dealer's playground, no cops welcome. 
why we can't use the main entrance. Dion, so he doing the, the first the, the fighting shit, the boxing that people shit. That want you got any questions before you come to me or Nico? This who you talk to. What's up? <laughs> okay. What happened to the whole Apex TED Talk? Vertical control, reigning supreme. Exactly. Yeah, that shit's gonna be hard now that this motherfucker that thinks he's Denzel from training days, in a way. Carter is a <laughs> yeah, cop, nigga. the head of a drug task force. Now, that's a perfect analogy, bro, because that's exactly how Denzel was acting in training day. That nigga, that man was acting just like that. Like, he was a true dirty cop, bro. Like, he, bro, that man was acting. This nigga, but Tariq be Tariq just be knowing what he 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 know, bro. He know exactly what he what he be saying when he say it, bro. Just don't want a preemptive strike or to start a war with motherfuckers that we can't win against. You know what a task force stands for? Yeah, bro. No, he not even, that. bro. Carter not even worried about Brady. That's no, the crazy part. Reed. I'm moving out finally. Okay, I'm gonna see if I want to move in with me. <laughs> what the that, fuck is that's, so that's, funny? You're really fucking losing it, huh? You don't even know this girl. And didn't the band just fucking walk out on us? In in fact, really? I, I do know her, and I'll get the band back. And this nigga is, this nigga is this nigga think... is pulling a Tommy what the hard fuck are you doing? fucking hard, uh, bro. For once, I would just love for you to say thank you, Brayden. You're you're killing it, Brayden. Good job, Brayden. You do a lot of things without thinking it through. All right? mm. You've been doing it. Yeah, Sound like fine. Tommy? Exactly. What hard evidence does this cop have on me? Everything. Is it the witness, surveillance, what? Yeah, Playboy. And how exactly are we supposed to do this? Because killing the cop ain't easy. <sighs> I know he didn't just say that. Like, like, did you did you forget what you did to Ramirez in season one? What are you what? You killed that man dead in his face. What are you talking about? You shot that man dead in his Nah bro, stop it, bro. Stop it, Kane. That's what I'm saying. Kane got his Kane got his cool moments, bro, but he he gotta stop acting like he better than everybody. Like he don't make mistakes, like he hasn't done the come on, stop it, bro. Stop it. And your ass is so fucking pussy, would you just don't let this bitch get you killed? Wow. Oh, now that's not language I'd expect from my mum. What did Kane tell you? Oh, we're gonna be family now. Oh my Kane's god! Like Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. Bro. <laughs> I, I forgot about that. And then this nigga Tariq made it no better by laughing. <laughs> god. Stick it, bro. He made it no better by laughing. This is ridiculous. Wedding, pastor, the whole works. Your invitation's in the mail, though. Stupid ass. These fucking bitches got you going crazy. The fuck is this? Stupid ass. I ain't gonna lie, I still feel like Kane is like working, well, working his own angle. You too. There's something wrong with Elle. What? What the fuck happened? She, she was doing coke, and then she said she wasn't feeling so hot. And the next thing you know, she just fucking passed out. Look, there are drugs all over this. Uh, Who gave her the coke? All right. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm charging extra for this house call. Bro, this, this is this weird, bro. Getting married. <laughs> the second one. I was talking to the lady, my guy. <laughs> yeah. Kane and I are getting married, and everything needs to be airtight, so it yeah, holds up against the I know he feel away. Future. Given Wiley Adams' untimely demise, this had to be done. Yeah. There was no need to consult you. Yeah. <clears throat> Seems like your work here is done. Damn. I got your text. Just bro, what the nigga! What is going on? Nick, bro. This is, oh my God, bro. Nigga, this look like uh, one of them scenes that start before, you know, it gets active. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Nigga, this is just a crazy scene right now, dog. Freak shit y'all got going on is, I'm not into that. Yeah, exactly, I'm like what? Buddy. Nigga, this is weird, bro. I'm marrying Kane. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this she, ring I ain't gonna lie, she ain't, she, she messy for that, she ain't she's fucked. So any dalliance between you two is now over. Oh yeah, you got it. That's done. Damn. Kane's a caveman. He has no social media footprint. I need you to create one for him so he, he looks legitimate as my husband. Maybe I get, a, see, a Kane doesn't profile, need that actually. though. Kane with a college profile. Make sure that shit is community college. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> yeah. you back. This needs to look real. <laughs> You can do Let's get this show on the road, shall we? This is just, nigga, this, nigga, this scene is insane, bro. I ain't gonna have the back and forth is just, what the fuck in the jab, it's crazy. This shit is Tried to get Norman to do it, but she ain't bite. So we gotta give all the leverage that we got on Norman to Carter. Norman's my client. Nigga, you trying to protect this bitch when I gave you the inside drop on her. Exactly. The allegiance is with me. Really? Well, Mr. Ray make over is gonna need some in return. Oh so my if you God, wanna bro. end up like Obi. That's nah. what allegiance with Norman gets you. A nice to the fucking neck. I don't think I get it. 
I mean, I'm just trying to make sure you, you, you know, wait, said, where your like, alliance people. stands. Never forget who came through for you during clutch time. Who always comes through for both your asses. Yes, of course. It wasn't just you, nigga. It was Brayden too, but you, yeah, she played a role or a part, whatever you want to call it. The marriage will allow Norman to become naturalized. The prenup will protect her assets until she can reclaim her company. So basically, Kane is just a straw man. Essentially. And a dumbass. Yeah. Like, oh, yes. oh, 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 That's crazy. I would have thought Kane would have been the one running this operation. Norman don't mean shit to Carter. He can take out whomever he wants at whatever time he wants. Look, man, let's see how long this works out for you. Let's see how long marrying your boss works out for you. Damn! Everybody know that, bro. This nigga feeling himself too oh hard, bro. God. So you're, you fled Europe and my father was shot in the head. Still not clear on why. You don't want me hanging around Tariq St. Patrick. she did it. Whose father was a drug kingpin, and now you're marrying How, Kane how the fuck she know that? Bro, it's, 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 it's everybody's we'll business is just out in the streets. No how do you make your money, me. mom? Really? Ooh. Anya, you don't want to hear about a bunch of complicated corporate deals? Oh, yes, I do, mom. Like, my brain can handle she, it. She's a drug dealer. <laughs> Nigga, if she knows that Ghost is a drug dealer, bro, just be honest with her, bro. Drug dealer. Your dad was a drug trafficker, Anya. Yeah. I didn't know that's what he was into when I met him. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. Dad was a criminal. Bro, this, nah, I want her to be a sweetheart. Bro, I want her to be honest with herself, too. Look, I know I'm not immediate family, but. It, I, I don't care about that. I just want to make sure that you haven't taken what she's taken. Her lab results came back and indicate that the cocaine that she ingested was laced with fentanyl. She was then sent her into cardiac arrest. Yeah, this nigga Braden, dog. I feel bad for L with this nigga Braden, bro. You better hope not. Laced with fentanyl? Who the fuck? Yeah, where did she, I ain't gonna lie. Where did she get the drugs? And who laced it? Because what the fuck? Prognosis is uncertain as of yet, but I'll tell you one thing. If she was left alone, she'd be dead. Yeah, you just, you. You just so happened to save her, but... I was saying, like, I don't know how you care about someone you barely know. I know this is a show, but still, bro, like, like this girl was taking drugs and shit. Like, nigga, how you know her passcode, Steve? I don't know who, who, who Steve is, but we gonna see. Yeah, I knew he had a tie to working with him as a CI, and it was you. You really feeding this nigga information? You put Norma against Carter, you gonna damn near fuck around and get me and Drew killed in the middle of all this shit. Look, Kay, I'm damn. trying to protect you both. Nah, Jesus. this time she's trying to protect you, dog. Fucking Ray. Stop fucking lying, all right? You think you're on the outside looking in? When Norma finds this out, you'll be stuck with Carter for the rest of your short life. Short? Yeah, or applying to be a fucking greeter what? at Never one. me, motherfucker. <laughs> nah, my mom's was just leaving. Nigga, I thought she was getting married. Make sure you check on your sister. Yeah, all right. Don't forget to get that application. Stu bro, this nigga's stupid. He's an orphan. I changed that little boy's life forever. Look, dude, I understand feeling Hey, at least thing, he got the, at least he's still breathing. His mother was a killer. Y'all ain't even get to she have y'all kids. I just want a normal life with a regular family so I could just, I don't know, do me. Mm. Sounds good, D-boy. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with trying again, but I say like, not right. I, I say, I say try again when y'all ready. We don't need those. What you mean we don't need this? <laughs> hey, what? Is he getting pregnant again? The worst thing. No, no, let that nigga no, no. Be smart. Forget it, Tariq. Are you serious? Nah, nah, bro. This nigga wanted to be smart the second time around, and she got offended. If anything, you would have, you would, you would understand, bro. See, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Maybe it's me, bro, but nah. That he he being responsible this time around because last time he didn't know. Like, bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. Bro, that that see, that, I don't know about y'all. That it kind of just her reaction rubbed me the wrong way. I don't like that. Where did you learn how to do that? From your dad, who was in prison most of your life for dealing drugs. Jesus. Is that what you and my mom have in common? You guys are like the goddies of the ghetto. No. The goddies of the ghetto. <laughs> that is insane. Something. Your little ass is strive to be more like instead of prying into grown folks' business. Mm. Go shopping or brunch or make a TikTok or some shit. <laughs> make a TikTok. I won't be calling you daddy. But your mom will. Could he could say something like that? <laughs> what the fuck you mean close down, man? Building got bought today. By who? Some very rich motherfucker who they want to be identified. Me why that is not doing. Wow, I knew it. <laughs> it's like a cave petty dog. I used her phone to re-up with the dirtbag who sold her the tainted shit. 
Down to pay him a visit tonight? Say what you got in mind. I just want to scare the motherfucker. I bet. Oh, shit. Sound like, now he sound like Tommy for sure. Because Tommy, Tommy was like, it goes. It goes. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta go pull up on this tainted motherfucker that they tried to, you That's know what I'm saying? Fucking... Oh, now these niggas gonna go back and forth. Pull these debate together. classes hit Does different, dog. I think evil is real. I don't trust anyone that believes that there isn't any evil. Mm. Not evil themselves. Mm. To the opposing argument. I think this is a different, I think this is a different type of class. It's like, this is, this seems more like an opinion based type of class versus the one they used to have in the previous seasons though like that class that that class was a, a true debate class them niggas was them niggas was fucking going back and forth this one they're not so much they just it's just more like hey how do you feel about this versus in the other one they was really like talking this shit it was the paper that i assigned you to read mm. Argue about why evil exists. oh she real oh, for that right. she real oh she real for that nah but she, i ain't gonna lie she real for that though damn bro damn bro oh, yeah, no oh my but you know god what what the fuck are you doing here? Come on, it's a fancy school. Is that how they teach you Who to talk to your mother? Oh, that's what you're calling yourself? What? Chelsea. Oh, wow, bro. And the fact that you niggas sat up here a season ago and was like, she was no one's daughter. Good, I mean, hey, good idea. Good, good, good theory, you know? Now, I would have, I ain't gonna lie, but think about it and seeing this, I probably would have liked it for her to be no one's daughter, but I don't know. It, I don't know, bro. I seen her play on something though. I can't remember. I ain't gonna lie. Good casting, a good casting. Molested me, left you. After she told Public you about it. New problem. For all my mistakes, you know, I, I can still be proud of my little girl. You can from a distance. It takes a lifetime. But not nah. to learn how to love. Nah, but she told you what that man did, and you still married him. Here at the Ivy League, whose brains you think you got? Huh? That's me inside your head. If you had the brains. That you claim you have, the minute if he told you what that man did to her, you would have left that man. You would have you he would you would have reported that man. Got that man locked up. What you what, 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 what you talking about? If you had the brains you claim you have, what the, you sound stupid right now. I'm sorry. You sound dumb. Way too if late. If you were on fire, I wouldn't piss on you to put you out. Damn. And if you were cold, I would never let you in. Damn. Damn. If I had every single dollar in the world, I wouldn't give you a motherfucking cent. <laughs> anyone ever gonna love you oh huh that's what i say bro like they waited too, way too late to open this up hands in the air let's go they will fuck you up we got a man going around the back let's go where the fuck you going gun down nigga where were you gonna go mm. sorry about your guns this nigga's a bitch yeah, at least he knows. I've been told. At least he knows. You're the man to oh. Please, be direct with me. I can Sorry, make I'm late. Uh, I hope I didn't miss the appetizers. But why are you here? Oh, Davis. Thank you for taking this meeting, brother. Oh, why is Davis in there? As As yeah. Real nigga. Yeah. I'll get the uh, the fluke. Is that good? It's local. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, that nigga Davis so cold. <laughs> Davis cold as fuck, bro. Nigga Davis cold with it, bro. Let's do this another time. Another time. Where the fuck is she going? What the fuck is happening? Bro, this nigga Davis, dude. That was so smooth how he slipped. That he was. That was so smooth how he slipped that note with her. Like he just, you know what I'm saying? That nigga. That nigga. Did, that nigga said. Nigga, nigga, bro. That nigga too cold with it, bro. That nigga, bro. Bro, and, I, and, I, and I, bro, it's like she. I like how she picked up on it. Question is, what are you gonna do about Carter? Exactly. I just miss getting arrested for a federal crime by a hair. It's obvious, isn't it? I have to neutralize the motherfucker. Ah, uh, this is this is exactly what they wanted. This is exactly what they wanted. You like lacing your shit, Steve? Wait, 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 wait. Are you guys undercover or some shit? Because if she had a bad reaction, Amy the did it. <laughs> Then take it. <clears throat> you niggas don't have on gloves, bro. What are y'all doing, bro? Y'all don't have on gloves. 
Oh my god, bro. You fucking acting crazy. You're supposed to just scare me. Yes. What the fuck I'm doing? <laughs> fucking kill him. What the fuck do I care? If it was your girl, you'd do the same. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
terrified for what's gonna happen. They gonna have to, they gonna have to figure some shit out to like to write, like to like to like finish all these storylines up. Cause nigga, we would have been in the last season. Like it's, this is crazy. Yeah, again, Tommy. Who? I mean, Brayden was moving like Tommy the whole show. It, yeah, this this nigga Brayden was moving like Tommy the whole episode. The deep talking, killing niggas without thinking. Cause I ain't gonna lie, making a nigga snort, snort, like snort the, you know what I'm saying? The powder. He definitely like that's some shit Tommy would have made made a nigga do. Then again, I think Tommy. No, nah, you know he didn't. I don't think I don't think Tommy made someone do that. But that's some shit Tommy would have made a nigga do. Now I don't I don't know. Can I see Brayden making it? Cause they keep cause it's a, cause it's a lot of talks about who's gonna get a spinoff, who's gonna get a spinoff. I'm just like, do these characters are they worthy for a spinoff? Cause like I don't I don't want to see. I don't really care. Like I would still love Tate to have a spinoff. A, a, like a, a, a political power book that would be hard like on some scandal shit like that'd be hard diana with the whole condom situation it's like i don't know why she maybe it's me bro i don't know why she felt so offended because tari was just trying to be responsible but she's like we don't need that oh shit if we don't need that that means Tariq pull out game better be strong yeah this one in this reaction so if you guys did like my reaction please like the video outside of the like if you push across the youtube algorithm comment down below what y'all want to see next hit that subscribe button share the video and the channel as well and hit that patreon link below if y'all want to see the full reaction to this video until next time stay late